Hi and welcome to this short video where I demonstrate how to execute unit tests using WebLogic Server running as a Docker container. I'm going to be using the Archelian framework in order to execute my unit tests within the WebLogic Server Docker container. Firstly we'll have a look at my Docker images I have and I've got a prepared WebLogic Docker image. I'm then going to start my WebLogic Docker image and then I'm going to bind the port to a local port of 5001 and run it in the daemon mode. I can take a look at the, the docker container that's running and see that it's up. What I'll then do is step into my development environment. I'm using Eclipse in this case where I have a project already open. This project is a very simple web app that uh, represents a banking web app where I can actually do transactions with specific money for specific accounts. And what I'd like to do as part of this demonstration is show how I can execute some unit tests on my Java classes to ensure that they are correct. With this, I'm using the Archelian framework, which is gonna package up my code and my unit tests and deploy it to the specified server in this archelian.xml file. In this case, I'm gonna be using the WebLogic REST uh, management service API to perform the deployment operation. Here we're looking at now one of my uh, unit tests. You can see there's a number of uh, test methods here. And what I'm doing is I'm actually using the mechanisms available within Java EE to inject my stateless session beans in order to allow me to verify their behavior. So if we now go and run this, it's going to run just like any other standard unit test. But behind the scenes, Archelian is just packaging my code up and the unit tests, deploying to my WebLogic container, and then executing them and reporting on them. So here we can see that we've had a clean run. What I'll now do is uh, in, uh, simulate an error by getting rid of the uh, inject annotation. So now when this test runs, it actually shouldn't have one of the uh, stateless session beans that it needs. So it's demonstrating that I am actually able to utilize the injection facilities inside Java EE within my unit tests now through the, uh, the mechanisms of Archelian. So there we can see we now had the expected failure. I'll go and run it again and now we should get a clean test. So what I've shown here is the ability to actually start WebLogic Server uh, as a Docker container. Um, I can start it up when I need it. I can then utilize that for my unit tests as a, as a WebLogic Server instance um, via Archelian and some of the REST mechanisms we have. I can execute my unit tests and then I can shut it all down and I can effectively be back to a clean environment. If I had multiple versions of WebLogic or other servers that I need to test with, I could do much the same thing and test across these different environments very simply and easily. Here I'll shut down my Docker container and I'm done. Thanks very much for listening.